Hi, my name is Z. I have a partner, Nathan, who is not here today. Uh, for our EC4760 final project on microcontrollers, we decided to build something practical. We decided to build a biometric wireless pen drive. Now, what is a biometric wireless pen drive? It is, in short, a portable digital storage medium that is secured by fingerprints. And the nice thing about it is that unless you misplace your finger or you are held at gunpoint, it's virtually impossible for someone else to compromise your data. The other nice thing about this device is that it's also wireless, meaning that you don't have to fumble around uh, to look for a USB port when you want to use your pen drive. Essentially, all you got to do is take the pen drive, put it within range of a wireless base station, and then just turn it on and get yourself authenticated. The file is automatically transferred to your computer client, and after which you can also push updates from your computer client back onto the pen drive. So this is how you would actually use the, the drive itself. Now, this is a prototype of our pen drive. Um, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of components on it. There is an organic LED display, and below the organic LED display is the packet radio system. It's an RF24 uh, 2.4 gigahertz transceiver. Uh, the lighted blue segment over here is actually the fingerprint sensor. Now, for also the the backing store is in is an SD card. Uh, for this one, we selected a 2 gigabyte drive. Um, the drive itself can be partitioned into multiple zones. So, in effect, multiple users can actually share the same pen drive without actually sharing the same contents, without sharing the same files. This is useful in a corporate setting, for example, if uh, multiple people share one physical drive but do not want their contents to be shared with one another. Mm -hmm. Now, because the whole unit is completely self-contained, um, some people may question how you would actually charge the device itself. There is no visible port on this, on this device itself. Um, the way it's charged is by an induction coil, and this induction coil has to sit on top of the power supply, which is right over here. So by just putting it on top of the wireless induction coil, like so, the system can be charged uh, without using any kind of wires at all. This, this uh this uh, SparkFun box is also the uh, the wireless uh, communication exactly. Uh, link. Exactly. So the way it works is that the the data is transferred out from the from the SD card over to the RF24 transceiver. It goes over the air to the other RF24 transceiver on the computer side, and this is connected to in this case an Arduino Uno, uh, which is used to then transfer the data over to the computer client right over here, um, and is serialized and it, it comes out as a stream of bytes uh, over the serial port and that's how we get data exchanged between the two of them. The okay. Arduino is really just a pass-through unit for the data. Okay. So do you want a yes. demo? Yes, so let me do a demo right away. All right. Okay, so we're first going to authenticate. All right. Sometimes the fingerprint sensor is a bit flaky. All right. So, as you can see over here, I've authenticated and I'm now downloading a file. You can see it. It's being transferred. Mm -hmm. So the file is being synced to my computer. It takes a little bit of time. So the average transfer rate for this file is about 840 bytes per second. On our device, it's about 840 bytes per second. Uh, it's not extremely fast, but for many reasons, because the SPI code for transferring to and from the RF24 and the SD card, they were all done synchronously. Um, we actually did not use interrupts or anything of the sort to improve the parallelism between uh, simultaneous tasks. But, so, you, but you also had a price uh, cost restriction since this was a class project, exactly. and you had a very low cost restriction, exactly. so you had to optimize in various ways. Exactly. So the trade-off that we used that we had over here was that we used a you know a more flaky, difficult to operate system, which is the NR24. Uh, when we could have used something more reliable such as a Bluetooth unit okay. or a Wi-Fi unit. Okay. So once you're done with um, once the pen drive is done sending a file, it now goes into a mode, it now goes into the file receive mode. Um, it no longer transmits any files to the pen drive, uh, to the computer, because the computer, from this point on, only the computer would have the updated files. So when you're done editing your files, you simply put a, say, I upload a file, and this gets transmitted over to, wirelessly over to the pen drive. 
and that's how it is. Very cool. Very nice.